All right, hello, YouTube. Today, we will be pulling Al Hytham, as well as a little bit of banner review, right? So, from what I've heard, Yao Yao is actually a cracked character. A lot of a theory crafter has said that Yao Yao is actually really strong, and so is Al Hytham. But Yao Yao is a free character you can get on the Pick Your Character Lantern Right event later on. So, unless her constellation is really good, I'll check later to see if we should get her constellation or not. And now Hytham is relatively decent as well. I dare say he isn't called Myth. He's better than Myth. Which I feel like most of the Genshin Impact characters nowadays, people call them Myth. And Myth isn't bad. But whenever you say that the character is Myth, it's like an insult to that main, you know? It's like, if I say Yula is Myth, I'm dying tomorrow. They're actually crazy, Yula mains. Please, this is a joke, okay? Don't hunt me down. All right, so, anyways. For the banners, we have Yun Jin and Jin Yan. Jin Yan is obviously an S-tier character that can solo every boss in the game and 9-star Abyss for like 8 months in a row. If you spend at least $5,000 on Jin Yan to R5 and Artifacts. And Yun Jin is a really solid character where you can put full defense set on some ER and make her good for normal attack teams. So clearly, very cool character. Don't pull them. I know Jin Yen is my main and shit, but like, listen, okay? I will not tell people to main Jin Yen. Okay, let's see. 11,000. Let me check history real quick. Seven summons. So, this is the first 10 pool. Clearly, I won't be getting, you know. Oh, Yao Yao. Oh, that's, that's just one Yao Yao. Oh, shit. <laughs> Surely it can't be that easy. That's Yunjin. Okay, Yunjin is fine. How many pulls am I in already? It's like, I'm only getting like one copy. So, realistically, the summon video isn't going to be too long. So, I'll probably watch the um, the Al Haitham trailer. Oh, Jin Yen, that means good luck. That means next pull is Al Haitham. Nope. Okay, um, a single pull this. Easy. <laughs> Usually for my account, if I get like an off banner, I get the next five star really early because my account is rigged. There you go. Nice. Good early. Let's get down to business. See, this happens like every banner. Like literally every summon video. If I lose 50-50, I get an early five star. This dude, I'm not even kidding, dude, like how many times has this happened? It is so easy. Now the question is, do I pull for that weapon? Oh, a Yao Yao as well. Oh, how much is that? Oh, dude, I've literally, someone told me a couple of patches ago, but I never knew you can do this. You can click on this to see how much copies you have. I didn't know. I don't think I want to get the weapon. I am now reformed, so I will not be pulling the weapon. I only pull one copy, just one copy, and I'll play the one copy, okay? So uh, I'll put him on the weapon that he used in the lore. This weapon. That is enough. Makes him look fancy enough. Not my streamer. What do you mean? Uh, scales of max HP, scales of max HP. Uh, can I run full EM on her? What's her constellation? Uh, let's have a read. Dendro damage and stamina restoration. Okay. When White Radish Explosion hits opponent, you restore energy to Yao Yao. Yao Yao's elemental mastery will be increased based on 0.3% of her max HP for 8 seconds. The maximum EM you can gain is 120. For every White Jade Radishes in your gray throwing mode throws out, the next throw will also release a Mega Radish that have a larger AoE than the standard White Radish and deal 75% of dendro damage as so you throw like a, a big boy and it does more damage and it heals more. Wait, 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 wait. So some of her her healing scales off HP. Her damage on the skill ratio scales with attack. But everyone is building her elemental mastery because she's dendro. But she's still strong? What the hell is this character? <laughs> she's EM on Nilo team? You only run elemental mastery on Nilo team? I mean, it makes sense. You only run EM on Nilo team. And what about our height them, man? He scales off EM. Oh, he gets more damage bonus. Oh, okay. So he gets more damage bonus based off EM and it caps out at 1000 EM. When a projection attack hits. Oh, you reduce the cooldown. 
So the more you hit, the faster you hit. Elemental mastery increase by 50 for stacks so 200 EM. What the hell? Each mirror will be consumed to increase elemental mastery of other party member for by 30 15 seconds. So you should get like even more EM and more dendro damage bonus. If our item generates chisel light mirrors when the number is already maxed, crit rate and crit damage will be increased by 10% and 70% for what the what are they doing with these C6? This is like 30 crit rate, 60 crit damage, 70 crit damage. What's with all the stats? Yeah, but I'm not pulling this. I'm, he's saying C0. I'm saving for something else. I don't know what I'm saving for. I, I have no idea what I'm talking about. There's, there's no reason for me to be saving for a future character at all. New year, new code. Let's C6. Bro, listen, I'm not c 6 Why is your username Colt's biggest fan, by the way? So what team am I running? I mean, I'm probably like leveling friendship of the characters for a while, so I'll probably run something like this. This works, right? What material does he need? He needs the new boss, right? Okay, that's gonna take a while. What does she need? What do I level first? I heard like Yao Yao is really OP. She's not OP, she's just good. Bro, just good is better than mid, apparently. Alright, but that, that doesn't matter. I think uh, I need to first watch the uh, the thingy, right? Because I haven't watched it because it took a day off yesterday. Is Dane's Leaf gonna narrate this video? Scribe Al Haytham can be the easiest person in the academia to communicate with, or the most frustrating. He ignores the irrelevant and filters out the fluff. Focusing solely on the logical steps and appropriate process for the task ahead. For his <laughs> colleagues, this makes him a joy to work with, though not everyone shares their enthusiasm. Let's get down to business. Most scholars would jump at the opportunity to use a vision to further their research. And I thought Al Haytham would be no exception. Yet to my surprise, he prefers to use his elemental powers not for research but to deal with other issues that arise in life. Thinking a step ahead of everyone else is bound to reap benefits. The music of this video is too loud. When Al Haytham crafts weapon ascension materials, he has a chance to receive double the product, boosting the party's adventure readiness. Al Haytham's normal attack can combo up to five strikes with his sword, dealing physical damage. Using his charged attack, Al Haytham consumes a certain amount of stamina and performs. Oh, he duplicates the sword. That's a static weapon. Dealing physical damage. Tap Al Haytham's elemental skill to rush forward, dealing dendro damage to nearby enemies when the rush ends, as well as creating a chisel-like mirror. <laughs> Yo, that's a flash jump. Holding the skill enters aiming mode to adjust the direction of the attack. When this skill is cast. Dude, like imagine being able to use this skill to bypass the puzzle from the underground where there's a barrier blocking your way. Listen, Mihoyo, I, I know you want people to do your puzzle, but it'd be really cool if you can do this. Just like how you should make Kokomi be able to walk on water 24-7. Okay, I have no idea why she can only walk on water with her own. Just make her walk on water permanently. It literally does not break your game. It's just exploration. Al Haytham generates one chisel light mirror plus one additional mirror if he possessed no mirrors at the time of casting. Up to three chisel-like mirrors can exist at one time. While he possesses chisel-like mirrors, Al Haytham's normal, charged, and plunging attacks will be converted to dendro damage that cannot be overridden. When one of these attacks hits an enemy, the chisel-like mirrors unleash a projection attack that deals AoE dendro damage based on the number of mirrors on the field. Chisel light mm. mirrors will disappear in turn over time and will all disappear okay. when Al Haytham leaves the field. Okay, that's fair. He's an on field character. That restriction is. After unlocking the talent for causal correction, when Al Haytham's charged and plunging attacks hit enemies, they will generate one chisel light mirror. This effect can only occur once in a specified period. Oh, so it's like similar to how Hazel do it. So what do you do? You, uh, well, he's a sword character. And every sword character has one basic combo, which is you normal twice into a charge attack. So I assume Al Haytham does the same thing. Al Haytham's elemental burst creates a particular binding field that deals multiple instances of AoE dendro damage. If any mm. chisel light mirrors exist when this ability is used, they are all consumed to increase the number of damage instances dealt. Shortly after this ability has finished, if no mirrors were consumed, then Al Haytham will generate three new mirrors. 
For every mirror that was consumed by this skill, Alhatham will generate one less new mirror accordingly. Okay. When surrounded by mirrors, it takes a perceptive eye to distinguish reality from reflection. After unlocking the talent Mysteries Laid Bare, each point of elemental mastery that Alhatham possesses increases the damage dealt by his projection attacks and elemental that's just a damage boost. What does that have to do with mirrors? Burst. Damage can only be increased in this way up to a certain limit. Our height of invented mirrors and Genshin? Goddamn! Remaining rational under pressure is the key to solving difficult problems. Luckily for him, this is an ability that few of his foes possess. Alhatham's combat strategy is centered around the efficient use of his chisel light mirrors. His elemental skill allows him to quickly traverse the battlefield, while dealing dendro damage to enemies and generating chisel light mirrors. Then Alhatham can use these mirrors and their projection attacks to easily gain the upper hand. When energy is full, Alhatham unleashes his elemental burst, creating the particular binding field and dealing several bouts of AoE Dendro damage. If he possesses no Chiselite mirrors at this time, some are generated after he has used his burst, allowing him to follow up with more attacks. Yeah, that's cool. If he has mirrors when he casts his burst, then he is able to deal more Dendro damage and swiftly seize victory. I feel like... I feel like that's good because that makes him very unga boonga. It's like, oh, so when you have your ult, uh, and when you have the mirrors for your ult, your ult does more damage. When you don't have mirrors for your ult, you you do more damage later. So it's it, it's literally like, yeah, just press that button, just f ignore the text. A comfortable life looks much the same for everyone, but the people who lead those lives may be nothing alike at all. A sharp mind and a good attitude have benefited Alhatham immensely in his pursuit of the good life. It is not my place to judge how other people live. Dane's Leap? I, if you guys didn't know, Dane's Leap is the one narrating half of this Genshin Impact uh, skill video. And I swear to god, Dane's Leap literally judge everyone so far. <laughs> what the hell do you mean you don't judge every single video? <laughs> if anything, the more I say, the more jealous I would sound. The truth Half? is, 99 I have yeah. nothing against a laid-back lifestyle. It reminds me of a simpler time. But unfortunately, not all creatures are capable of being rational and logical in everything they do. Alhatham's approach only works in the context of his relatively simple existence. And that is completely fine by him. Okay, that's good. You know, one day we're gonna bring our Hytham down the abyss and he's gonna be like, what? Why did you bring me here? <laughs> hey, that's not a spoiler. If that happens, I'm sorry, Mihoyo, but um, I feel like he's a scholar. He might find some shit. But uh, for now, that will be the end of this little summon video, right? Really quick summon video. Gonna mix in a little banner review in there as well. Um, Well, I guess we didn't review the weapon banner. Skip the weapon banner. Like, unless you really want the weapon for the crit value, I feel like um you don't want the four stars. Not really. That looks kind of painful. Save for Dia, uh, hell yeah. Save for Dia. Uh, I'm only running C0 and the, and the four star weapon because this is the weapon I'll hide them use in all the cutscenes and stories. So that's good enough for me. Uh, what does the weapon do again? EM and gives you energy recharge based on EM. I'm not sure how useful that is, but okay. What's his talent priority? Oh, you have to level everything, but E first. All right, that's gonna take a bit. All right, that'll be the end of this little summon video, yes? All right, until next time, YouTube chat. Bye-bye.